Okay, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Okay, great. First of all, can I say how pleasing it is to hear so many people in this apartment block yell at apartment number two for playing Arctic Monkeys Do I Want to Know on loop at 3 a.m. last night. It is so pleasing to hear everybody join in with a collective shut up. That's really important. And please, we want to see more of that behavior in this apartment block. So thank you for that. As of 8 p.m. last night, we have seen three new episodes of Ted Lasso and two new episodes of What We Do in the Shadows. Those episodes had already existed in the community and we are just catching up to them now. So what we want to do is be able to see more of those episodes sooner. But we realize there is a limit to how many streaming services people can sign up for. But as a little treat, there will be more episodes of Succession for those who persist longer than the two week trial that Binge is offering currently. So that's something to look forward to for everyone that's on Binge. Um, as is the health advice, we have been going to the toilet a lot more often, but please, can I, I just want to remind people, if you are doing a number two, please, please close the door after you to avoid airborne contaminants affecting the living space. This is a real issue, so please, please keep that door shut, okay? For lunch today, it will be a spinach and tuna salad, as is the health advice. Uh, I just want to stress here, I just want to stress that it can be tempting to order a Portuguese chicken, chili, chips and solo combo from the local shop and have it delivered, but it, it is, it, that's fine in normal times, but it's not conducive to the long-term sustainability of someone that's been in lockdown um, for over 10 weeks, okay? You just can't keep that up. So tuna and spinach it is today. Now, can I say, <laughs> On the weekend, we did witness about 12,000 people down at Bondi Beach, just a few blocks from here, but the numbers have it that 9,000 of those people were from the Daily Mail and Channel 9 taking photos of everyone else. So please, if you do have to go to Bondi Beach, please wear a mask so you aren't identified by Sydney Confidential, okay? All right, now we'll take your questions. I've got some here from Twitter. Um, Climate Patriot. Why have I never seen you in the same room as John Lovitz and David Mitchell? Well, uh, Climate Patriot, this is an offensive question, okay? Um, and I'm not going to answer it, okay? Murray Waper, what time does Dan Murphy's open? Look, across most LGAs, it's, um, it's 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., um, but there are some LGAs that do it differently. So Guildford, Randwick, North Ride, you're looking at 10 a.m. opening. In Mossman, it's a different closing time, 7 p.m. Uh, and they do that because you can't trust rich white people you give them an inch, they take a mile, and they build a hedge around that mile, and no one's allowed to walk there. Okay. Gary Moore, why do we put an extra X in anti-vaxxers? Look, Gary, that was a decision taken at National Cabinet. Um, the Federal Health Minister wanted uh, to put three Xs in there, triple X, as is his want. The Premier's, we just thought one was enough. Um, so we met halfway. That's why there's, there's two in anti-vaxxers. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Guido Tassoldi. What is the philosophical significance of Gödel's theorems? Look, Guido, I think we all know um, Gödel was a brilliant thinker, but he wasn't a mainstream thinker. He had a lot of gaps in his theorem. Um, it's safe to say his, his theories have more gaps than a, a block of Swiss cheese. Um, so that's that. Wilco asks, what's for lunch? Like we said in the briefing, spinach and tuna, Wilco, that is the current plan, uh, taking the best advice from health there, okay? Kim Fitzgerald, why is there air? Look, Kim, um, the air is here, Kim. Okay, um, we're committed to air. Uh, and can I just stress, there are some in the press uh, who say we should get rid of air. You know, you get rid of the air, get rid of the virus. But uh, that's not going to happen, okay? Air is necessary for life. Uh, and the current advice from health is that we must make air mandatory. Okay, thanks, Kim. Uh, Peter Credlin asks, do you scrunch or fold? Look, it is a tough question and the advice currently is to do whatever you can do in front of you. Uh, there is research still being done. Currently, we're doing both. We are scrunching and folding. Uh, but if all you have is the ability to scrunch, then scrunch. If you are waiting for someone to teach you how to fold, we don't suggest that at all. Scrunch now, you can learn to fold later, okay? Now is the time to scrunch. 
Okay, you can't be fussy about scrunching or folding. All right, Miss Wolfie Wolf asks, are we there yet? No, no. All right, thanks very much, everyone. Thanks very much. Thank you.